Hello, I'm Dexter Mitchell, and I'm with RS3 Academy. RS3 is a training and certification company in the hospitality industry. We provide surf safe manager training, food handler, and we also provide the alcohol training. We provide testing, proctor services as well. So to find out more about what we do and the courses that we offer and trainings, you can find us at rs3academy.com. Also, we just completed a training. We just completed a training that often comes out of our Surf Safe certification courses. I oftentimes get requests from managers and owners on how to exactly train their staff and team members. And so I am going to give you insight by taking you into our recent training, just hot off the press, how to do restaurant training. It's a model that i uh, done a little research on and uh, created a video for. So how to do restaurant training. And I am here today to talk to you about training, specifically to introduce our how to do training model. I know it sounds funny and it's kind of weird sounding, but uh, hopefully it'll make sense. At RS3 Academy, we use the how to do training model by shifting responsibilities from the instructor, the trainer, to the trainee. My experience with this model goes back to my uh, restaurant managing days. It was first introduced to me by a colleague who was also an, a corporate trainer. And then later I saw it presented by Ryan Groffin. He's the restaurant boss. He writes and consults, and he's also a YouTuber. And so I follow him, and so he introduced it as the five-step training model. But more specifically, it's a an instructional model. It's called gradual release or scaffolding. So it's a teaching model that was developed back in the early 80s, late 70s. And so it's affectionately known as a gradual release model. Again, you do it by shifting responsibility from the trainer, the instructor to the trainee. And so by incorporating the how to do, we ensure that our trainees gain the, the skills and confidence needed to succeed independently in our businesses. And so that's why it's important. In addition, training in general is important because you want to have a confident and competent team working for you because that increases revenue. When you have well-trained employees, it provides a high quality of service, increased customer satisfaction, positive word of mouth, more sales. They gain freedom and confidence to be less micromanaged. That allows them to find joy in the work they do for you. And so the how to do restaurant training model provides all of those things for people who need that, that, that training in your business. How to do is a five-step training model. And it sounds weird. It's the first step is why do. We want to explain why. Why do. Second step is how do. Third step, I do. Fourth step, we do. Fifth step, you do. Why do, how do, I do, we do, you do. Let's start with number one, why do. This step is oftentimes not utilized in traditional trainings. Rarely do you sit down and explain why you are doing the silverware this way, why we are taking trash out this way, why we sweep the floors this way, why we answer the phone this way. Explaining why is a very important step because it gives the theory behind the actions, the theory behind the behaviors, the theory behind why I want it to be done this way. It helps with slippage. It helps to reinforce the particulars of why you are doing it your way. It, it allows you to put your stamp on any particular training in your facility. Why do? That's very important. And then the second step is how do. This is where you verbally explain every step of the task. You talk about it. You walk them through it step by step whether that's with a training video, whether that's with training posters, literally you take them through and you explain to them how to do it. 
third step, I do, the trainer. You now get to do what you just told them, why you do and how to do, you do it. And let them see you, let them ask you questions, let them take notes, let them experience what it's like to see this particular behavior in action. I do. This step is very, very important. The next step is we do. Now, this is some time for collaborative work, role play. You get in there and get your hands dirty. You and the trainee get to do this same thing that you've explained to them why it's important to do it. You've explained to them how you do it. You've shown them by doing it yourself. And now you get to do it together. Very important step, self-explanatory. Provide feedback as you do it together. Go through the steps, answer questions, provide feedback. No, do it this way. This is extremely important in the process. And then finally, you allow the trainer, you do. You allow the trainee to do that particular behavior. What you've been walking through these four previous steps, this is now game time. It's time to see them do it. And again, providing feedback all along at each step. But this particular time, it's extremely important to provide a level of feedback that allows them to display their work. It's now show and tell. It is now time for them to either cook that dish. It's time for them to show that project. It's time for them to do the work. And so all of this is important because it unlocks efficiency, effectiveness, and excellence in your business. Comprehensively understanding ensures employee grasps both the theoretical foundation and the practical application of these tasks. Clear communication uh, prevents common excuses and misunderstandings by providing clear instructions and expectations. And then it provides long-term time safe, reducing errors, reducing rework, saving time and resources in the long run. This is important in your system of onboarding in your restaurant because training is fundamental. And so oftentimes we don't provide a structured training system for how to get things done in our restaurant and it is much needed. And so here is RS3's version of the five-step training model, how to do restaurant training or just small business in general. Thank you. Bye-bye.